Today, using Apple Motion, we are going to be doing a viewer requested tutorial to get the Nicholas Crystal? Crystal? How do we say that? Crystal. Crystal? I don't know. We're going to be recreating his text effect using Apple Motion for Final Cut Pro so that you can apply it as a template in your videos. First things first, go ahead and open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, we're going to select the Final Cut effect. Go ahead and push Open. After that, just select your effect source, jump into the inspector, go to your properties and locate the position tab. From there, select this down arrow, go down to add parameter behavior, and we're gonna select wriggle. Now you can see right here in the center that our effect source is going to be moving around. So all we need to do is get the settings dialed, such as our amount slider. Let's go ahead and take that way down so it's considerably less. We'll change our apply mode to be add and subtract. We can take the frequency down considerably and the noisiness down considerably. So now if we play, we should get some slight motion. Now it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see because it's not text, but you should see it here. It's moving around. It's not quite fast enough, so let's go ahead and bring up the frequency a little bit. That's looking pretty good. From there, let's go ahead and publish some parameters so we can change them in Final Cut Pro as we please. So first, we're gonna go to the amount slider, click on this down arrow, push publish. We'll find the frequency, publish that, the noisiness, and finally, the random seed. And one quick thing I almost forgot, Come to the very end of your project, push Shift M to create a marker, double click that marker, change the type from standard over to project loop end. And that's just gonna tell Final Cut Pro that this is the exact timing we want for the animation just so it stays consistent. From there, we can go ahead and push Command S to save. We can change our category to whatever category we like and we can call it whatever we want. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and push publish. So now that we're in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna push Control T to add a title. If we wanted to animate this text, all we would need to do is jump into our effects. We can scroll down and find the category that we put it in. We'll find the tutorial. And I'll just drag on the Nicholas Crystal text effect. So now if I play through, you can see that our text is moving around. Now it might be moving around a little bit too much, so we can jump into our video settings. I can bring down the amount slider, I can bring down the frequency, just like so, so it's a little bit slower, and you should be set. So that's pretty simple. If you wanted to add rotation, you would just add another wriggle parameter to the rotation on the Z axis, and you should be good to go. Thank you HDBMB for the recommendation. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.